What's up YouTube, it's Jay Millionaire here with a little review slash pickup I just got. Came in the mail today. Um, a couple of things did. Something over there. And I'll get another video about that one. And this box right chair. So right off the bat, these are the Kobe Faded Black series. Um, they've been coming out like basically almost every day from like his early stuff and then progressively getting to it like the last one, which is like the 11s. But anyway, so yeah, these came out in progression and I applied on sneaker apps and of course one. A couple ones after that haven't been so lucky and then the other ones I've been so lucky, so I got really lucky on this pair. But anyways, into the box, it is a good, really good detailed design of, I'm guessing black mamba skin, like snake skin. It gets dark and fades to light and the top is a little bit like that. In the front, of course, of his logo. And on the label, it is Nike Zoom Kobe 5, fade the black, tumble gray, tumble gray for $200 hairs, my size. And into the shoes we go. But first, there is a pamphlet in here, which is pretty dope. Of course, a symbol. Let's see if I can get this out. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> so it has gold in the back, which is pretty tight. Shiny, flashy. And then it comes with this whole big ass pamphlet on the back. Again, phases the black, which is a good little thing I just seen, which is pretty tight. Has coordinates, which are kind of hard to see on the top, all throughout the top. And they basically are coordinates of places he played and he's had accomplishments in. Damn, can't really see. But yeah, so London, and that's the coordinates in case you're wondering on jumping out of your plane or something. So that's one side, and then the other side, it's a lot lighter. Of course, getting progressively darker and has the same thing. That is a pretty good dope touch, in my opinion. So, onto the shoes. Take out one, because they're pretty much the same, except for this one key feature, which is a hang tag. This is no ordinary Air Jordan 4 or anything like that hang tag. This is pretty good leather. Or, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good, yeah, it's a premium leather. With his logo on one side and Kobe and a Nike check on the other. Pretty good touch. So basically this is uh, my first Kobe's I've ever owned. And of course this would be my first Kobe's. Um, he's a pretty good, uh, I guess, release. All the all upper is that one tumbled gray, like they said. Kind of uh, a mix between leathers and kind of plastics, I guess, or TP or whatever the material is. And then high quality materials in the back. So let's just get into it really quick. Don't really know that much tech about Kobe's, but I'll try my best. Um, so the Nike check in gray. The front is another leather course uh, perforations in it and a little matte kind of rough gray in the front for the toe box the tongue on this is all mesh with kind of high quality in my opinion better than regular laces laces that lead up to a leather pretty damn good leather tongue on here pretty much like the whole uh, hang tag as well quality and his logo in the back on these it is a mesh in silver Again, good quality, and the heel cup in the back is a shiny gray with his signature. The uh, you probably can't see. Let me see if the camera can pick it up. But yeah, this is a really high quality, like cotton quilted filling thing, and that's on the hat, back of the tongue, and the whole guts of the the shoe. And the insole on this is gray with the Kobe and Nike check, and the other one. Let me grab that really quick. It has. The five or a V Roman numeral, in case you didn't know. But yeah, on to the bottom of the shoe. It is crazy grip design, carbon fiber, and of course this logo. Everything in gray, grayed out basically. Yeah, it's pretty not necessarily simple, but the color scheme of all gray is just pretty dope to me. Oh, and then I'll have to show you in one second a video of the 3M because this is pretty much all 3M, and I'll show you in one second. 
So this is the basically flash of my camera, which is basically making the 3M pop. As you can see, the whole midsole and the whole front and the toe box, as well as the Nike check, is 3M on here. I've never actually seen a midsole 3M, but yeah, it's crazy, right? That is hella tight. But anyways, to sum this up, I think it's a pretty dope shoe. Like I said, it's crazy that this is my first Kobe's ever owned and it ends up being a pretty good release in my opinion. But yeah, I'm trying, gonna try for the rest of them if I can and hopefully I get those 11s because those are pretty dope as well. But yeah, let me know what you think if you end up getting these or any previous ones that released or even just took L's on them because it's pretty much L season for a lot of people on these as well as the Yeezys that they that's another story on the in in clothing anyways but yeah let me know if you end up getting them and if you wanted them or you're gonna pay resale for them because i see them going for a pretty good penny all right rate comment subscribe peace